welcome to my flower house. This is actually my floral studio. Um, it was a building that we had just put on our property last year and we are still in the process of finishing it all out. So it's still in the raw stages, but I just got a shipment of flowers in from California. Um, that I need for tomorrow night for the secret garden party. Um, I've got to bring a ton of bouquets and so mixed with the flowers that I grow and some California flowers, we're going to make some fantastic bouquets. So let's open up this box real quick and see what we have in here. I got this box from the Floral Source, which is a great company that helps you source American grown flowers. Um, ooh, this is a box of roses. Oh, let's see, what do we have here? What do we have here? Ooh. So this is a mixed rose box that I purchased. So we have all different colors. So ooh, we've got some beautiful yellow roses. And then next, ooh, orange. These are nice, fun summer colors. Got orange. Whoop, there goes my earbuds. I'm always jamming out to music as I'm working. Um, I was just working in my garden. Um, I'm preparing for the secret garden tours that I'll show you guys. Uh, that's this weekend also. It is a busy, busy week around here. So next we have, ooh, these are gonna be, oh, hello. Oh my goodness. Hey, gorgeous. Hey, gorgeous. <laughs> okay, we've got those. And then we've got some beautiful, beautiful spray roses. Oh, hello. Oh, people are just going to love you. Love you. And then we still got more. Still got more. Ooh. So let's get these processed. All right, so let's process some of these roses together right here. So I've taken the rubber band off and I have this little rose stripper thing that I use and it helps get the thorns off and any excess leaves that I don't want. So I just strip them first. And then once I have a good pile, I actually come through and I snip the ends like this, and then we're gonna put them in my hydration solution for a few seconds. Into the flower bucket, they go. A few down, several 